Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends the world over, thank you for joining us today and welcome to what I'm sure will be an absolutely amazing episode of Butcher Shop Television. Today is Wednesday, March 22nd, 2023, and we are broadcasting live from smack dab in the middle of Jacob's Meat Market in Appleton, Wisconsin. My name is Eric, and with me, of course, the star of the show, the man himself, Mr. Luke Jacobs. Luke, it's Eric. very nice to meet you. Oh, very nice uh, to meet I've you, heard too. I've heard many M-E-A-T, right? M-E-A-T, you. Yes. Uh, what are we doing here? We are uh, broadcasting live in Appleton. We think we're live. We think we're live. We, we hope we, we're live. We should say this is our first episode. Correct. We have no idea what's going on. Right. Uh, we have some strikes against tune, us. Tune in and watch out. Tune in, watch out. You, for instance, you're camera shy. I, for instance, don't speak English. We have no idea what this equipment is. We do have something in our favor. We don't much care for each other, uh, but we're here. Not at all, right. And maybe we're recording, maybe we're live. We'll get better. Maybe they can hear us. Maybe they can hear us. Maybe not. Uh, but what's the idea of the show? <clears throat> so the idea of the show is to uh, um, tell the viewers our weekly specials, um, also to highlight a couple things um, that are maybe on the, the weekly specials, as well as um, maybe tackle a subject a week about uh, you know myths of a, a butcher shop or butcher shop myths correct I, uh, they often, often keep me awake at night correct. <laughs> you too yes <laughs> absolutely so i understand you're going to tell us about the specials yes so right. so this week we have um uh, wait a wait i have a joke first you do <laughs> i do uh, is it a good one no it's not or is it one I, of yours i i was told i wasn't allowed to have a good one. Oh, okay <laughs> but before we get to that uh Tell us where we are, we for, are for those who might not know okay. so you, we who are, you are. So we are at um, Jacob's Meat Market in Appleton, Wisconsin. Um, it was started by my grandfather and his brother in 1945, so that would be 77 years in case you don't know how to do the sports This store, right in this spot? Correct. Right Correct. in this spot. Yes. So they, uh, they, they purchased it in 1945, um, and it was uh, my grandpa and his brother, so John and Leonard Jacobs. Okay. Um, it was passed down to my father which is Ed Jacobs and his sister, um, Dolores Hurley. And now it's just myself running the store. Fantastic. And you well, enjoy it. Oh, I love it. Oh, yes. wait, you were going to give credit to somebody else. Just yourself uh, and... Well, uh, my, my great employees, of course. All the great employees. Yes. And they're really great. They are. I, I've yes. had run-ins with them on, time, on, on occasion. And you they've too? been great. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, during the intro, I mentioned that today <clears throat> is March 22nd. It is, uh, yes. And it's been raining, so... People can tell it's live. Correct. But speaking of March 22nd, and I know you know the answer to this, what celebrity is always ready to eat cereal? Eat cereal? I'm not, which, which one? Reese Witherspoon. Oh, Witherspoon, I gotcha. You were supposed gotcha. to say Captain Crunch. Captain In Crunch. rehearsal, he said Captain Crunch. <laughs> we rehearse this? And I was gonna say, no, that's the celebrity who's always ready to sell. Sell, right? Cereal. Correct. But I bring Reese Sail or sell? Sail. He, sail. he does both. Yes. He's a captain. Right. <laughs> Correct. Reese Witherspoon. And I bring her up because March 22nd is her birthday. Happy birthday, Reese Witherspoon. Happy birthday, she Reese. and I go way back. She was born this date in 1977, which makes her quite a bit older than I am. I, I said older, but I meant wealthier. She's Correct. She's quite a bit wealthier. I mean, one assumes she is quite a bit wealthier than I am. You just never know. One good way to become slightly wealthier is to avail oneself of the specials every week at Jacob's Meat Market. Why don't you tell us all about your specials? Okay. We have notes down here. <coughs> we do. Know. Yes. Yes. Uh, we have a, a boneless pork sale going on sale right now. Um, we have. I do uh, like that. Boneless yes. Because that's easy to cook. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Uh, the roasts are two twenty nine a pound. The um, regular or stuffed chops are two ninety nine a pound. Um, we have some Jacob's own mushroom and Swiss brats. Four fifty nine a pound, and that's a sausage. Correct. It's a bratwurst. Yes. A bratwurst. Yes. And Just you in put case mushrooms in there. People are not there? from Wisconsin. And you put, what did you say, mushroom and Swiss? And Swiss, yes. Are they by any chance Swiss mushrooms? They are not. They no. are not. No, okay. we didn't pick those. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Literally, uh, we have Jacob's own natural casing wieners for six forty nine a pound, um, and we also have fresh all natural chicken tenders on sale for two ninety nine a pound. I think we have a picture of those. We do, we do. Um, so what I like to do with the chicken tenders is um, I like to bread them with simply uh, Ritz crackers. So Ritz you, crackers you are- cracker them? Cracker them, correct. Crush the crackers. Crush the crackers? Yeah, so they're little crackerlets. So you cracker, got your tenders lets. there. Yes. And you make crackerlets. Right. And you, apparently you do this with your hands. Correct, yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes in a bag, sometimes- So if we need assistance, we can come- Oh, a bag. That, correct. 
yeah, that's a good idea. Then right. you could maybe put the tender right in the bag afterwards. Good, yes. Yeah, good. yes. Anyway, I'll let Once you Once you buy them, you can do them whatever you want. You're the you expert want. on this. Yes. All right, so. I am going to uh, show a picture, though. All right, so the Ritz crackers are great for, um, because they are, they are buttery, they are also salty, and they also um, have, have great, um, a, te a great tendency to stick to the chicken. Which you don't you need to. You don't need to drop them in egg or milk or anything like that. You can just, just the crackers. Yep, just the crackers. And now I happen to have at home some Ritz crackers that I think are garlic and butter. Can you use flavored crackers? Oh, that would oh, make, make it even good. better. This is a picture I that you took. I typically just have the original. So, some of us like I'm the just original. I'm the original. <laughs> This is a picture that you took, and it, uh, it shows the tenders as they are purchased. Correct. The tenders as they are crackered. Correct. And you cook those. Yes, on the I right did. There. Yes. Uh, it takes about 45 minutes um, in the oven at about 325. Um, you could also do, um, I've heard a lot of people do them in the air fryer. They're really, really good for that. Um, there's about six per pound, just so you get an idea get of an five idea. or six per pound. Yes. Okay. Yes. Wow, that, that, the, the ones that are cooked look delicious. Oh, you should have and been now, down here I, yesterday I, to try them. When you said you were going to cracker them, I I thought there'd be more cracker. You can you, put you can put you as can many, put as much oh, cracker on there I, as I'm you like. I'm going to put you back on the screen. Okay. <laughs> warning. Right. Thanks for the warning. Now, what are chicken tenders? What part of the, I mean, I, I I hesitate to ask, but what part right, of the chicken right. is the tender right. part of the chicken? It's like the McNugget. No, I'm just no. kidding. Right. Um, so I have a um, I have a whole here, cut let up me chicken. Hold this up here. I have a whole cut up chicken right here, um, and. Obviously, the two legs, the two thighs, the two wings, and then the two breasts right here. So if you flip the, the breast over, show, you know. pardon? It's a family show. It is, yes, yes. So if you flip it over, the breasts, um, these are the two actual um, breast pieces, and the two chicken tenders are right in here along the breast bone. Okay, so you're talking so about a, the pectoralis minor muscles is what you're talking about. Why didn't you say that in the first place? <laughs> well, I, I was... I was yeah. Trying to be... You know why they call them tenders instead of pectoralis minor muscles? Why is that? Because they wouldn't sell if you just called them pectoralis minor <laughs> Yeah, right. They are actually the tenderloins of the chicken. They are. And you have now touched chicken, which brings this next button here. This is a be right back button. I'm going to touch that so you can go wash your hands. Okay. And we're back. Are nice you sure? clean hands. Are I have no sure? idea. I have no <laughs> idea. I pushed the button. Hopefully, okay. Something. Okay. Hopefully, it's the right button. All right. So the chicken tenders and the roast pork. That's what I would do. Is the roast pork definitely? Uh, that I find easier to cook. But we can cover that in a correct in, in correct. an upcoming episode. Sure. Providing there are any upcoming episodes. Of course. Plus, you have Lenten specials. We do have some Lenten specials. Is that uh, because so it's Lent? It is Lent. Okay. Yes, through Easter. Through Easter. Yes. Just in case you didn't know. I, uh, thank you for that. Sure. Sure. So we have some uh, frozen, frozen French Canadian walleye fillets. I will point out you said frozen. Frozen, yes, I did. Thank you. Thank you. Did this you is say, live. Right, did we you are say live. French aren't we? Canadian. French Canadian. We 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 French Canadian walleye. Are those fillets or fillets? Yes. Okay. Twelve ninety nine a pound. We have some Jacob's own uh, teriyaki smoked salmon. Fourteen ninety nine a pound. We have some frozen red snapper for twelve ninety nine a pound, and we also have fresh wild swordfish fresh wild so, but uh, i mean it's not alive is it not it's anymore it's wild but it's not wild you not should alive. have seen okay. it last friday night last friday oh at on the dance the floor downtown oh man I've, I've i've heard something interesting about genuine swordfish i yes. think i heard it from you so i'll let you tell yes. me <laughs> okay okay so when you get the box in of the swordfish of the swordfish yes. it has to in order in order for it to be genuine swordfish it has to it have the sword oh, of in the box. Absolutely. So, and you have a box right here. I just happen to have a box. Yes. Camera. Yes. So but you're going to make me hold it up. Yes. Aren't you? Can you hold that there? Oh, the, the, <laughs> oh geez, out this out is box. really <laughs> exciting. This is exciting. Oh, oh look, look at, at this. This well, looks like true, genuine swordsmanship. Swordfish. Oh, you'll be careful with that now. I, no, <laughs> I would not like to see this in the sea. I'll tell you that much. No, I wouldn't either. No. It is from the it is from the North Atlantic. North Atlantic. Yes, okay. yes. And you would cook it. Here's the whole there. Here's the whole fillet. Um, we cut it down to uh, serving size, proper serving size for the customers. How do you cook something like that? Um, I it's would cook fresh, it till so it's it, done. 
Till it's done. Yeah, I wouldn't cook it any End longer than that. End of program. Yeah. Uh, in the microwave? Uh, you could cook it in the microwave, I'm sure. However, how I would do it is I would either grill it or oh. I would um, pan sear it. Pan sear? Yes, it's, simpl it's similar to like a, uh, like a beef steak, like a tenderloin that you would cook a tenderloin. Okay. I wouldn't cook it to a medium rare, I would just cook it just okay. till it's done. Yeah. So that's kind of like shark too. I find uh, swordfish yes. and shark are really dense, right. almost like steaks. Right, and correct. Not, not much like fish. Correct. <laughs> not much like Funny that you'd bring a sword out here because just last night, a friend of mine was trying to convince me to invest in his sword manufacturing business. And really? I have to say, he made a few good points. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a sharp friend. That's why. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't good I thing, supposed to say that? Good thing we had a rehearsal. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so uh, how much is that? Uh, the swordfish is only 19.99 pound this and, week. And, and you cut it into basically one person servings? Correct, and, about eight and, ounces. Eight yeah. ounces. Yep. So is eight ounces half a pound? Uh, last time I checked, yes. Last time, well, it depends Weights on- Weights and measures, can you Weights. confirm or deny that? So uh, for $10, I could have this tonight. Definitely. When are these specials available? We should talk about that. Uh, they are uh, available right now through Saturday. Through Saturday. Saturday so that's is the 20th. Wednesday, yeah. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the 22nd to the 25th. You have a printed copy of your weekly ad right here, this weekly specials ad. And yes, you do. I, you uh, disseminate this to the public via your mailer, your, your newsletter. It's on your Facebook page. Um, and where else do you put it? Um. Facebook on our website and on your website Correct. and I see it on all three places and I have to say this ad in particular is a beautiful ad yeah I don't know who makes this ad but that is a fun uh, ad I'm uh, not sure we got a new marketing person and well know, he's the, genius the, the or she he or, or she, she is genius yeah. I particularly the like the out. chicken that's uh, telling us to eat beef Correct. I like uh, right next to the chicken tenders. Correct. Those Correct. Exactly. Pectoralis minor muscles. Sure. Uh, I have no idea where we're going from here. You've done the weekly specials. Uh, we showed. Uh, I was looking at the stars last night through the clouds, and I noticed that we're getting very close to the first full moon after the first uh, Sunday after the first day of spring in the northern hemisphere, which of course means we're getting very close to Easter, Easter Sunday. Easter. Correct. Uh, do you sell anything special for Easter? We definitely do. What's um, that? We, we you have can tell the home, camera. We, <laughs> we have uh, home smoked hams. Um, oh, we, uh, is that the video you sent me? Correct, yes. Uh, I'll yes, play the video. Is. Yes, would you? I'll play the Roll video the where you talk about Beautiful home ham footage ham. there, Eric. I, I will note that this is your amazing videography, uh, but this is in your shop. Correct. This is Correct. where you smoke the hams. Right? Correct, yes, we do. Um, so we get them in, they're, they're pre-pickled, so they are cured. When we get them, okay, and then we smoke them. Oh, in I our thought the pigs were no, 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 no. There's something else going on. Here. Just the farmers, probably. <laughs> um, so we we get them in, and then we uh, we net them, and then we smoke them in our uh, masonry smokehouses right here. Uh, it takes typically 24 to 36 hours to smoke them and cook them fully. So when you order them, that that leads us into the ordering. Um, you can uh, call us on the phone at 920-733-1031 and order your Easter ham. Um, we have bone-in ones that we smoke here. We have boneless ones that we get in smoked. Um, and we also have um, lamb legs uh, for sale for Easter, fresh. Fresh lamb? Upon order, correct. So if, if I wanted a ham that was smoked here in-house, yes. I would want one that is bone-in. Correct. Uh, what is the smallest bone-in ham I could get uh, typically? Procure? Um, I procure. would Procure? Oh. I'll give you a dollar after the show. With you, okay. <laughs> Stumped them. Um, uh, the smallest whole ham is going to be about 15 pounds, uh, but you oh, could really? order uh, half a ham as well if you have a smaller family or a smaller get-together. Does that have bone-in? Correct. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, that would be about five pounds. I wouldn't go any smaller Wait than a minute. four the or five pounds. You, oh, okay. So 15 is a small whole ham. Correct. But a, a, there must be a whole 10-pound ham if I can get a half ham at five pounds. No. No, <laughs> we just cut a smaller half. It's not a true half. It's not a true half. Correct. I like that math. Correct. Thank you. <laughs> Jacob's Meat Market, famous for that kind of math. <laughs> Be okay. Only here. And now lamb. Yes. Uh, what kind of lamb? It's f you said fresh. Fresh. Yep. Domestic. We only carry domestic lamb. Okay. Um, so it doesn't have that gamey flavor. Um, it's maybe not as as cost effective. Oh, I thought as it had the New good Zealand. table manners. <laughs> well, <laughs> depends where it's being compared to. Okay. <laughs> um, but uh, we have fresh domestic lamb legs, bone in and bone less. Okay, both. Yes, yes. So um, if, I, if I wanted the smallest lamb thing I could get, what's, is that another Whole or half? 
the smallest portion. The smallest portion uh, would probably be about a three pounder, oh, okay. uh, bone in or boneless. All right. And the smoked ham, do I have to cook it? Uh, you don't have to cook don't it. Have you to can cook eat it. it just as is. The lamb should cook, probably be cooked. Though. When we smoke it, it's completely. It's completely cooked. Um, all you have to do is just heat it through about 15 to 20 minutes per pound at 325. If you want it warm. Correct. Correct. Or if you, you want it cold, then just eat it right out of the refrigerator. Right out of the refrigerator. Let it sit. Room temperature. Sure. All right. So you've got a ham, but people should order now. Correct. Because Correct. we are taking when, orders now. When's your cutoff for orders? Uh, the cutoff is the Wednesday before Easter. That's next we Wednesday. Have to get. Okay. No wait. You mean the Wednesday right before? Correct. So it's two About weeks four from days. today. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Two weeks from today is the cutoff. Could I have your phone number one more time? Um, you already have my phone number. That's true. Oh, for the store. <laughs> uh, it's 920-733-1031. Today is a, a big day for lunches here. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Because they're serving something that is very popular. It, in it, Wisconsin? At your store. I don't know about Wisconsin. No, you're not doing old fashions, although okay. we could talk about that. <laughs> it's the shaved, what, roast beef, is it? Prime rib? Shaved prime rib. Prime rib, yes. That I have never been able to get myself. Oh, really? <laughs> because it's so popular, it just goes so quickly. Correct. That's today, but I, I bring that up only because we should tell people that you serve lunches here. We serve Monday do. through Friday, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Correct. And the menu changes. It's one item per day, but it, the items change on a daily basis, and you put out a menu every month, so pe people like me who want to plan it in advance. Correct. Am I Correct. going there? Am I going? Yeah, I'm going every day. Yes, That's yes, it. exactly. So we have, uh, it's one entree and two sides for the lunches. Um, and like you said, they, they change um, monthly and daily. Um, it's not like a McDonald's where you can walk in and order off the menu. No, you order a lunch or it's you either, don't. It's and either a lunch soup. or a soup. Yes, or correct. A soup. Or both. Or both, Many yes. people order both. Correct. I have not yet done that. Okay. Uh, well, there's time. There's time. <laughs> today might be the day. If I get a lunch today. Right. <laughs> you might just get the soup. <laughs> might just get the soup. <laughs> correct. Uh, and where can we find, we don't have that in front of us, but the public at large, where can they find that menu? Uh, the menu is on our Facebook page. It's also on our um, Instagram page. It's also on our website, jacobsmeatmarket.com. Jacobs Meat Market. That's a very nice website. It is. Thank uh, you. Thank you, you very much. You did not build that, so you can't really take the credit for that. But just I said some so of the content. The URL is nice. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> um, also, um, on our website, you can sign up for a weekly email um, that tells you the specials, and it also tells you on a separate email um, what the weekly menu is. So it's really two weekly emails. It's yes. Yeah, there's one that it's does. It's not the, bi-weekly because that would be every other week. So it would depends. It's just, depends. It's two emails a week. Correct. One with the lunch lunch specials. Correct. And then one with the weekly specials. Correct. Uh, weekly specials always run Wednesday through Saturday. Yes. And lunches are always served Monday through Friday. Yes, unless it's a holiday week or. Yeah, sometimes you don't or, serve lunch. Yes, sometimes, sometimes Rena just doesn't feel like cooking. So. Yeah. And that's her right. That's her right. Sure. Uh, coming up this Friday, however, the March 24th, you know what day that is. Very important day for most of us. It's National Chocolate Covered Raisin Day. Oh. Chocolate Covered Raisins. And I bring that up not just because it's one of my favorite days, but because I think Jacob's Meat Market can help celebrate. Why is that? Of course we can. Because we sell chocolate covered no, raisins. Really? We sure do. <laughs> In yes. little bags, maybe? Yes, yes. Uh, so, actually, interesting story. My grandma used to have a table full Can of I pull raisins. Up a chair? Sure, uh, sure. All grandmas do that, don't yes, they? Yes, yes. Yeah. She did the same thing with the peanuts. Uh, it it turns out that she would eat the chocolate off the outside because oh, she didn't be like joke. raisins or I peanuts. I all <laughs> nostalgic for my grandmother. Correct. Correct. Everybody's grandparents did that, didn't they? <laughs> Not my grandmother. Okay. But she did have a, she had a chicken actually, a glass. Frosted glass chicken, and you took the top off. It was like sitting in a nest. You took the chicken off, and there was a bowl there with candy. Really? And it's usually from Jacob's Meat Market. No kidding. No kidding. Or at least it's what no you kidding. find over here in no. your candy section. It's not that old, though. Oh, when did that? When did this start? No, the candy itself. But when did you start selling this candy? Uh, probably 15 years ago. All right. Yeah. No, my grandma was gone by then. Okay. So it wasn't your candy. I understand you want to give something away as part of this BSTV. Sure, I, I thought it was that. Butcher Shop Why TV. Why did I whisper that? <laughs> butcher Shop TV. Yes. You pick the name so that we could abbreviate it Yes, BSTV, BS TV, because correct. that is such your personality. Correct, correct. Uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you want to give away a pound of bacon. Correct. To one lucky viewer. 
Yes. And uh, my understanding is that to enter this, it's a contest. Correct. All you have to do to enter is make a comment down below this video. That is, of course, assuming we have a video right. <laughs> that people are right. watching or will watch right. uh, and can comment on in the future. Just any kind of comment. I'm I, gonna, think, uh, yes. I think what they should do is they should rate this video. Oh, he doesn't want you to do between, that. Between, well, you'll see the comments, not me. Okay. <laughs> so I think they should rate this video between, I would say, 1 to 82. Okay. 82 uh, being the best, the best and 1 being the worst. What is the significance of 82? No, he just made that up. He likes that. I did. Yes. All right. So you want uh, to enter, you want to comment. Correct. It, under this video yes. in YouTube yep. uh, with your rating of this show on a scale of 1 to 82, 82 yes. being best. Correct, yes. And then next week. Crystal clear, isn't it? Very, very. Okay. Uh, plus, you can hit replay. If you need me to go over that again, just rewind a little bit. Uh, next week, we will do this again because you've had so much fun. Oh, tons of fun, yes. It will be even better because we'll know a little bit more about what we're doing. Right, and we're not doing. we will choose, you will choose one winner at random from all the comments. You probably do that before we actually start so we can just announce it. It might be the highest rated one. That they're I think it, the what, you can choose however you like, okay. <laughs> but I think we should make it clear that they have to come into the store to redeem. Correct. And pick We will up reach back out to them. We'll try. Noting, you, noting. you have to watch this. Yes, yes. <laughs> to see if you won. Yes. And then come into the store within a specific time period? Sure. Couple the of weeks? End of the month, maybe? Yeah. A couple of weeks. A couple of weeks, yeah. And, and somehow prove that you are the person who made that comment. Correct. And you will be handed. Now, this isn't just any pound of bacon. Correct. This is the best bacon in the state of Wisconsin? I would say further than that, but you can you can stop Keep by the going. state line. Keep That's going. Fine. Yeah, Keep right, going. right, right. This side of the Mississippi, maybe. Okay, in the United States, this is the. I can I can see it from right here. If you just move out of the way, uh, this is the only bacon I will eat. Yes. Yeah, and you I eat, eat I eat bacon, a lot of bacon. <laughs> So that's a pound of bacon. Correct. To Correct. one lucky winner. All you have to do is comment beneath this video. Is there anything you'd like to add? Because I think we've reached the end of the show. Have we? Yeah. Oh. How long did it go? Oh, well, that's assuming we have a show. Correct. Uh, that's what you want to say right there. We just read it to the camera. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching. Do you have anything else to add? I don't think so. But no. Okay. Thank you for watching. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching. We will once again broadcast live next Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. Central Time. Um, please take a moment to like this video if you liked it and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. In the meantime, come visit the store here at the corner of Law and Pacific Street in Appleton, Wisconsin. We're open Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Now, I know it's North Law and East Pacific, but... Yes, they're, Law with an E law, in case you have law to put it in Pacific. your GPS. I thought was good enough because South Law doesn't cross Pacific. Correct. And Pacific, there's no other law for Pacific to cross. So Correct. I thought that was good enough. Yes. Law and Pacific just rolls off the tongue better. If you'll say goodbye to the camera, I will push a little button over here that will roll the outro video. Outro? Okay. Thank oh. you very much for watching.